Hey guys, um, I have some pretty sad news that you can probably tell what happened by the title of this video. I was planning on filming lots of uh, different videos and putting them up for you guys this week, but due to what happened, that whole schedule has been thrown off. If you guys have seen my last couple of videos, you know that I got five uh, beautiful little female mice. Unfortunately, we are down to four now. Well, I had two Siamese mice. Um, and one of them, the smallest of the two, is named, or was named, Daphne, and she died on the 9th of December, uh, around 8.30 in the evening. She started showing weird, weird symptoms around the 3rd of December. Um, it, she didn't seem, like, sick, necessarily, but just weird things, like, she, it started with her, um, sitting in, uh, always the corner, a corner of the tank they're in. It was always the corners she would go to, and she would sit there, and some either she'd be looking out, like, straight, or she'd be kind of stretching up and looking up, and she'd just sit there and, and look a little miserable, like she was mad about something. But then, uh, around that time, excuse me, uh, if you, like, touched her, she would start to go back to normal. Like, she'd be like, oh, sorry, <laughs> you know, spaced out a bit. At first she would just sit there, and then as the days went by, she would sit there and she would kind of tremble, like her little hands would kind of shudder a little bit. So she would look like she was asleep. So, at first I thought maybe she's just, I mean, animals are weird, right? They all have their weird little quirks and maybe she just likes sleeping like that. I have a friend who I got my mouse Reepa Cheat from. Um, he's like a total expert when it comes to animals in general, but mice uh, specifically. And um, so I, I've been, I'd been, as soon as I noticed this, this happening, I was in contact with him and he was like, that's really weird behavior. He hadn't seen that before. He had some ideas like maybe it could be this, but um, it, it was just really weird, and um, and it kind of went off and on. Like maybe like the third, she was like that, and then the fourth, she was normal. So I was like, okay, it was just that weird thing. And then maybe like the fifth, she'd be doing it again, and it might seem a little worse or a little less worse. I contacted a few people that I knew were experts on mice. Um, my friend that I mentioned, he actually came over and gave her a whole like physical exam. But one of the first things we thought was maybe Daphne was being bullied by another mouse. This happens sometimes, especially when females, they're going kind of through puberty and they're trying to sort out who's the boss and teenage drama. <laughs> so I literally thought that's what it was because she would kind of sulk in the corner and I would hear uh, squabbles going on, especially at night. I would hear lots of squeaking, and then in the morning she'd be sitting there. I would try to observe them and see who was fighting, but it always seemed to happen at night, and if I turned on the light, they would all look at me like, what? We weren't doing anything. And then she seemed to get better again, and then, um, she was meh around, like, the 8th. And actually, on the 8th, uh, my friend contacted me and said that his Siamese, which is the sister of Daphne, um, was showing signs of an upper respiratory infection, and he changed their food, and all the symptoms cleared up, all of his mice are perfectly healthy, um, so I was like, he was like, you might want to try that for your mice, because she could be showing signs of an allergy to something in her food, and I got the food that night, and I put it in her bowls, but I was noticing that she wasn't eating. As she kind of went in with her sisters and was, you know, uh, cuddling up with them. I was like, okay, good. That's a good sign. And then the ninth rolls around and they were all sleeping the most of the day in, uh, their little igloo. And I was like, okay, I think everybody's okay. Uh, my mom and I went out shopping most of the day. And then I came back around five o'clock in the evening and I was like, I'm going to check on Daphne. I have a couple of uh, hideouts in there, and I opened them up, and I found four of the mice, and I was like, 
okay, this is not a good sign. I couldn't find her anywhere. It was really bizarre. So I took the tank down, took all the mice out. I started digging under the bedding. And at that point I was like, she has probably died. So I was prepared to find her body in a corner. I, I, I scooped away the bedding and I saw her body lying there and I was like, oh. And I grabbed her and I picked her up and she twitched and opened her eyes. I was like, oh my gosh, you're still alive. And she was freezing. I was like, oh my goodness, what the heck? And I had her on a heat pad on low and I had a blanket wrapped around her and I was rubbing her and I was putting um, uh, water down her throat, but she wouldn't eat. Tried, you know, mush stuff. She wouldn't take that. The way she looked, I mean, her eyes were almost completely shut. Um, she had clearly lost weight. I just knew that this was it. And I was like, if I take her to the vet, uh, which was closed by then, um, they would probably put her down. Well, I just stayed with her from 5 till 8.30 when I was kissing her and I was talking to her. And she was sh shuddering a lot. And I was thinking like, okay, if she lasts the night, I'm going to get her to a vet tomorrow and just see. But she was kind of like in a, this little carrier. Uh, I had it on top of the heat pad and I had blankets in there and she was all wrapped up in there. And I had my hand in there kind of holding on to her a little bit. So I had my thumb kind of like on her, or my finger, I can't remember, like on her uh, little chest and her little belly. And I believe in God and I, I had been praying a lot through this week, you know. And at this moment I was like, okay, hey, I cannot stand to see her in this much uh, agony. And I was like, okay, hey, God... If the only way for her suffering to end is for her to go, then please take her right now. And I literally, like literally two, three seconds, I felt her, you know, under my finger, I felt her heart stop beating and I felt her stop breathing. We've had animals that we've had to put down before and I've sort of, I've seen them die, but I don't know, it's not the same thing as like really like holding it and feeling the heart stop. She was two months and eight days old, so very, very young. No idea what it was. So my other girls are totally fine, Reaper Jeep's fine, everybody's good. I've had a good cry or two because, uh, well, first of all, I was getting very attached to her. I mean, looking after and feeling worried for a little animal. I mean, you get really, I'm very maternal, so I got very attached and um so I miss her and she was such a sweet mouse like she I could literally do anything to her and she just put up with it I on I just I can't help but feel so guilty because I feel like I I the vet is so expensive and and I was like could this have been stopped if I got her to the vet right away my next video I'm I really want to film all the girls and introduce you to them all properly because that's kind of what I was gonna do. <sighs> it's really sad. Um, yeah, I don't know how to end this video now. <laughs> Bye.